this was the perfect opportunity for us to have something in the 50 people uh, type range. That was kind of the perfect number to create a super VIP, if you will, a very exclusive who's who of Kansas City. The genesis to the boot room really stemmed from a number of us executives at Sporting KC trying to think of a way in which we could repurpose some underutilized space. For about four years now, we had our eyes on an old closet space that our operations team used for storage that was under a stairwell that led into our field club, about a thousand square feet. The idea started off as a cigar club, but as you can imagine, Figuring out ventilation and the stink uh, from cigars was uh, quite difficult. So we figured we would lean into what this market already does really, really well around the city is great cocktails. So we leaned into the speakeasy type of membership club. We have a extremely fun clientele at, at Sport in Kansas City, especially in our premium areas. And we thought there'd be no better way to give them another option in addition to what their game day experience already is than allowing access into, you know, a premium space like this where they could get cocktails at a level that they're not used to getting at any kind of stadium or arena. That was very exclusive. This was something that our executive team thought that we could develop and test the market, so to speak. How can we drive a little bit more revenue while offering also, you know, a, a much different experience than people are normally used to having uh, in sports. Our premium clients at Children's Mercy Park haven't traditionally been asking us to come up with more because they have a pretty great experience as is with our differentiated premium levels. However, coming up with the boot room, we figured it was the right number, about 50 memberships, and then leaving room for about 10 to 12 game day only um, access uh, passes. That was kind of the perfect number to create a super VIP, if you will, a very exclusive who's who of Kansas City. In addition to those 50 memberships, what kind of makes the space is, especially post game, some players, ownership, big prospects. There's a lot of business being conducted in such a great type of aesthetic. This is an access pass in the stadium. It has nothing to do with your ticket to view the game. In addition to the pregame and post game uh, access, the club is shut down during the game and halftime. The experience is very well manicured. The benefits that come along with a membership to the space don't stop in the space. We include one chartered flight with the team to an away match each season, performed a launch party at a local distillery here, Jay Rieger, to do a private barrel selection of uh, bourbon for our members, uh, which then they received bottles from at the end of the year. The rest of that barrel will be served in the boot room all of the next season while we wait on a new barrel that they select for upcoming years, allowing ourselves to showcase a local distillery we also include a few access passes for each of the members to use throughout the year. We develop some pretty good swag for all of our members, items in the quarter zip type category. Also, we'll be developing some wine and uh, kind of different curated nights throughout the year to invite them out on non-match days that are paired with great dinners from some local chefs of ours. A thought about finding a naming rights partner for the space has come up. Not having a partner on the space lends us to be able to be a little bit more organic and a little bit more curated from an experience that we'd like to have. We can have a little bit of extra fun down there when we don't have to worry about some of the relationships that may or may not be affected. The investment level of a membership in the boot room uh, to a new member coming in is $6,000 for the entire season, which includes all the other events. And I should mention includes all cocktails um, in the space, beer, wine, soda as well. Um, and access to some extremely uh, hard to get bottles um, that they could purchase pours of. For returning members, it would be a $5,000 investment. The boot room does not include food at this time. We wanted to focus all of our efforts on providing a great drink experience down there. You're not gonna see anything more than really past snacks. We didn't have a space in the building that was 
ultra exclusive. Our most exclusive space, our field club, was still 400 people. This was the perfect opportunity for us to have something in the 50 people type range that was going to really allow us to have the people in that space that would appreciate exactly what we were doing and the barrier to entry wouldn't be a factor.